about zooming in on the climax, and there are other, other techniques uh, that also are very good for climactic moments or creating those peaks of suspense. Now, the reason that Kamishibai is, is so perfect for creating structure and suspense is you never know what's on the next card. You always want to know what's on the next card. Even if it's a really boring Kamishibai, you just have to know what's on the next card. So already you have your audience in your hand. But if you can do that extra thing to make it really exciting and make those kinds of um, pulling of the card uh, effective, you can make it even more amazing story. And this is one of my favorite stories. I think it's just designed so beautifully, and it's available um, through that website. It's also a story you probably know because it's been translated the most. It's one of the oldest oral stories in Japan that was um, collected called Little One. Oh, 
Bones. Why, <laughs> <laughs> you little bean of a boy, I could eat you in one gulp. And that's what you did. You so mushy up and <laughs> swallowed them all. <laughs> but the next moment, the Oni was down on the ground saying, Oi, say, Oi, say, 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 oh, it hurts, it hurts, because as you can see inside his belly, you so mushy still had his needle sword, and he was going tippity, 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 and poking him all around his belly. Finally, the Oni was able to throw his so mushy up, and he went, Japanese are on a, on a, on a 
poetic expressions. So like the sound of the rain, can, can go up with me, or can, 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 we don't have that in English. Just, we don't, just a bunch of them. Drip, 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 drip. Or um, I love the tippity tippity tippity, poke, 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 it doesn't quite do it for you. Um, so most of the expressions, and so, you know, I've encouraged kids, like, if they have other languages, and certainly, I mean, Kamishiba is an amazing way to teach language because, you know, they're, they're having to perform what they're seeing, they're seeing it so they make connections with the language, so it's really a perfect way to introduce languages incrementally, you could introduce different kinds of language, um, but I incorporate um, those kinds of expressions a lot because it just brings the storytelling to life. And I need to get the kids to do that too, because sound effects and dialogue are really the way it comes.